Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm 27 years old. Um, I have primary vaginismus. Uh, I went 27 years without even knowing what vaginismus was. It wasn't until very recently my husband and I um, found the Women's Therapy Center and learned that vaginismus was a real condition and that it's a lot more normal than people think it is. Um, once we started coming here, I was super anxious and I didn't know what to expect, but I can say that as each point appointment goes along, you will become more comfortable and more excited because it will just click. You'll find the confidence, you'll become more familiar with your body, and you'll learn that you can tackle this struggle. And you will come out feeling so powerful and strong um, each appointment that you leave. So don't feel lost or insecure, just come on out and learn more about this um, vaginismus and that it can be cured. I would like to ask you, because I know that you are in the process right yes. now, mm -hmm. how you feel about it being in, in, in like already went In through. the midst of it, yeah. yeah. Um, when I first started, I was super anxious um, because, you know, I went so many years not knowing what was wrong with me and not being comfortable with my body because of it. So when I first came, I was a complete nervous wreck. I would, my husband would drive us and I would just be bawling like, I don't know if I can do this. But I can tell you, I am like on my eighth uh, appointment in and I feel so much stronger and empowered than I think I ever have before because each appointment I leave here feeling like more accomplished and thinking of like breaking barriers I hadn't done ever before and it feels amazing. So yeah, I, each appointment you just come out a little bit stronger and I think it just comes, there comes a point where something just clicks where you realize like, you know what, this is all just in my mind and this is something that I, I more the more familiar you come with your body, the more comfortable you become and you realize that, you know, it's just me versus me and it's something that I can handle and tackle and own. So I feel, I feel great. And could you describe one of this barrier process, like crossing the barrier for your... Um, yes, well for me, I, um, I come once a week, so I do a lot of uh, uh, at-home exercises. So for me, um, it's just making sure to keep on it each day and just not allowing your fear to hold you back. Just making sure that you stay on top of it. And I think the more that you explore on your own, the more you become comfortable with it. And then you just learn that like what, what is normal, what is not normal, what is in your mind, what is reality. And once you are able to separate the two, you just have, for me that was the moment where I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. You know, this is something that I, I can do this. So I think it just comes a moment where it's like, okay, yeah. This is my body, I own my body, I can control this. And it, it happens at different steps for women, but for me it was probably like my second appointment. Yeah, so it was pretty early. And how does it, how did it feel? Oh my gosh, it was so empowering. It was, it was like, uh, I did something that day that I had never done before with no medication, with no one sitting there, you know, like cheering me on. I did it because I, I could do it. And after I accomplished it on my own, I was like, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. You feel so empowered. Because, you know, uh, as a woman, this is, a, this is something that we're made aware of, you know, since you're very young, elementary school, that, you know, this is your body, you need to love and accept it. And unfortunately, for a lot of women with vaginismus, you kind of miss that step. And you feel uncomfortable and you feel lacking because you don't feel quite normal. And you, unfortunately, because it's not something that's talked about regularly, you feel alone and you don't talk about it with others. So when you have that moment where you're like, oh my gosh, I did something, even if it's so small, it feels so empowering because you're like, wow, uh, I can do this. I'm on the steps to something greater. And it just feels so good. Mm -hmm. And do you remember, uh, like also, when you recall the moment of like discovering and like mm -hmm. trying to find out, do you remember that you tried to speak with people about like or friends about it? And how did you do it? Um, I'll be honest, my, uh, my close friend group, really no one knows about this except my immediate family and my husband. Um, 
and I didn't even tell my immediate family, not my sister, not my mom. I didn't tell anyone until I made my appointments here at the Women's Therapy Center. I, I realized that I needed a bit of a support group and I needed to let people know what was going on with me because I kept it to myself for so long and I think it made it a lot harder because you feel like you are alone and you overthink it 10 times more. And, uh, and then you realize once you speak up about it and open up about it a little bit and you have a support group or someone you can just go to and say, hey, I'm having a rough time today with my exercises. And they're sitting there saying, you can do this, you got this, like how much easier it is when you feel comfortable to tell someone. Even, you know, um, it's so great because I know a lot of women talk about with doctors and things they don't fully understand how to cure it. And they, and they just kind of brush it off uh, thinking it's a lot of other problems when it's not. So it's difficult, you know, but I think it's important. I think it's really great when people do communicate with, that, with, with others. I just keep it amongst a very close knit of people. I, I do, do keep it to myself for the most part. But, um, and how it is right now, your relationship, you and your vagina? Oh my gosh, my vagina and I are becoming best friends right now. I am learning I'm learning so much about my body and uh, that's that was the main reason I wanted to come here I know a lot of people think it's because it's they want intimacy at some point I just wanted peace of mind knowing that I was comfortable with my body that I could go to a gynecological e an exam and get the peace of mind knowing that I am healthy and everything is okay and I think it's just important for a woman to want these things for herself not just for a partner or for the pressures of you know society. I think it's just so empowering to know that by the end of your journey, or even for me, in the midst of my journey, I'm feeling stronger than I ever had before. And I think that's what's most important, that woman just feels empowered and like she has control and the confidence that she deserves. Mm -hmm. And could you try to describe what is this feeling of empowerment a little bit more? Um, for me, it's, like I said, I just love having peace of mind. I love knowing that I have, I am accomplished, I am conquering something that I have been fearful of for 27 years. And knowing that you can conquer something that you had in the back of your mind feeling not normal and not uh, comfortable with for so many years, it just feels like there are no barriers after this. If you can conquer this, you can conquer anything. And I think, you know, anyone that's going through, our biggest, I think most people's biggest struggle is, is themselves, just getting over their own, you know, fears. And for most women, vaginismus is their greatest fear. It's literally just the fear of, you know, not knowing your body and exploring your body. And to be able to conquer that is very empowering. And um, <clears throat> did you also, like going through this process also open you maybe for talking about sex and sexuality generally or like how how is your relation to to that oh uh, my thoughts toward like intimacy yeah oh um i've surprisingly i've always been comfortable with intimacy it was just the pure act of penetration was always my hold up i have I've always just felt like that was the one missing piece, and maybe that's why for me intimacy wasn't the main concern. It was more so me just having that uh, peace of mind, knowing that I have the confidence and the relationship with my body entirely that I wanted. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to that too. My husband and I, this whole experience has brought us closer because he has watched me grow so much from driving me to appointments where I was bawling my eyes out like oh I don't know if I can do this to going and be like I can't wait for this appointment I felt I feel so excited to see what I'm gonna accomplish next and I think that makes him really happy yeah I'm just seeing me becoming a stronger woman so it's really nice right. Very good. okay I think that's that's it. Do you have any question that I, you would like me to ask or like w there is something that you would like to say? Um, no, I think what you guys are doing is wonderful. I think, I don't think vaginismus, I know for me I don't have social media but it took me a long time to even figure out what this was and realize that it was a normal thing because for me and like most of my, I don't think that 
you hear the term enough or uh, or ever in your life and and luckily for me I'm younger but there's some women that go much later in life not knowing what's wrong or being misdiagnosed for a long time when it's something that could have been resolved way sooner and not nearly as much as a, a process as some doctors make it out to be. So I mean I think what you're doing is wonderful and if people can learn that it is normal and like I said I would I would be more comfortable speaking out loud about it with friends and things if they understood what it was, but if I said that to them, I don't even know if they would truly get it. So I think this alone is, I think this will change things and make things a lot better for a lot of women. Because then I, I will have more, but like one more question. So mm -hmm. you have a feeling that also your friends are just not aware of? Oh yeah, I, know. I, was, I didn't know what the term was when I first heard it. I had to do a lot of research on it and unfortunately there isn't even that much research about it out there. Um, but I know if I were to approach my friends and said, hey, this is what's going on with me, I think they would all be definitely empathetic, but uh, they wouldn't exactly know what I was talking about if I just said the term vaginismus. I don't think any of them would have a clue what that is. Um, and because of that, I think it's been easier for me just to go on my journey on my own with just my family and my husband. But I think if people were more aware of it and more understanding about it, it would be so much easier to talk about for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.